All right, so this is about kind of beta adjusting your position sizing. And let everybody sort of read read it out there for you. And I just, you know, I kind of briefly touched base on this here just a few minutes ago, but but really the answer uh, revolves around uh, realize the historical volatility plus plus the beta of that asset, right? So uh, realize, so on yesterday's macro show in particular, he mentioned that FX has the largest uh, position size within his max allocations because has one of the lowest historical realized volatility. For So for anybody who either doesn't subscribe to the macro show, um, I think that's, uh, uh, you know, you're doing yourself a disservice uh, to yourself, uh, but the, you know, he, he reviewed it, right? So FX vol um, really has two buckets. Unlike uh, VIX with with three, uh, the the FX vol in the three to nine range is the investable bucket, and FX vol greater than nine is the uh, F bucket. And in that instance, you you really uh, you know, you move to U.S. dollar and you invest in U.S. dollars. So, um, you know that historical vol plus um, again going to the question, it's like okay, does this get factored in to your position sizing? And and the answer, simple answer is yes, right? So it's it's because he factors in the historical realized volatility uh, across those core, you know, those those larger uh, asset allocation or asset classes, excuse me, uh, for asset allocation. Uh, but then he also will adjust those right from from a beta standpoint. From from, as well as from uh, the own the the individual security or, or individual um, assets uh, historical volatility as well. So uh, I did pull up just some uh, some U.S. sector beta here. Um, so Genron, if you go to slide ten there. You can pull that up exactly. So uh, again, I, I uh, the doodling is kind of um, shit, but uh, whatever. You get the point, right? So consumer discretionary tech, we're both uh, you know we're short of both of those and have been for really I think going all the way back to April, and then consumer staples and and utes, um, you know those are two two sectors that were long, right? So if you kind of go across, this is their raw beta, so the sector beta for each. Again, on a historical basis, going oh, well, not you know, not quite historical, but going back to you can go all the way back to two years there. Uh, and again, just really what I wanted to highlight here from, from Staples is that, um, you know, one month basis, it's basically 0.53. So in this case, you know, beta is really compared to the S&P. Uh, so on an S&P basis, uh, you know, for every, um, you know, if you think about this, anyway, I, I think you got, I don't need to go into the nitty gritty, just go Google beta, right? Um, and you can kind of uh, figure out what, what it all means or how it functions. But basically, uh, the whole point here is XLP is, uh, has a lower number at uh, 0.53 on a one month basis, XLU point six eight versus xok at 1.37 um xoy at 0.91 right so um again in this scenario and, and going back to like portfolio sizing you know with a higher beta asset like xlk you may um you may not take it all the way up to that max of like a three percent short right uh so you might only take it to 2.75 or something uh or you know you might take it again it's it's up to what where, what you want to want to do 2.8 you know so again just like that that beta you know really does help help sort of um, make you sure that your position sizing isn't kind of out of whack and and those larger moves don't you know adversely impact your overall um, your overall returns and, and, and the volatility within within your your portfolio and conversely right like an XLP you may take larger than you know six percent maybe take it six and a half and again I've talked about this before um, or again you know uh, maybe not six and a half in the quad four because that would be silly because volatility is elevated but you know, perhaps, a, you know, rather than a four, four and a half percent, percent, percent position, you take it to five or five and a quarter, that kind of thing. Yeah.